Today's video is going to be another one on the 125 grain cutting edge Maximus bullet. Only this time I will be shooting it out of a 6.5 Grendel. We already know that these bullets will perform just fine below 1600 feet per second. I'm going to try dropping a little bit lower, seeing if I can get those velocities to come down. See how low we can go with this bullet. And then I'll be shooting a full load out of the Grendel, simulating that 150 200 yard shot with something like a Creedmoor. Um, just seeing how these bullets perform at different velocities. I will start with my low velocity. shoot another one of those because it definitely didn't mushroom went straight through everything but I hit fairly high so that was definitely way too low as I didn't even hit a thousand feet per second there so I'll shoot another low velocity around that I have a bit more powder to pick up that velocity Jugs are out of water now, so they can do yep. Actually, they only pop the one. No leaking yet, so we'll still use it to try to catch bolts. And that one just spun in there as well. And you can see that beautiful spiral from that bullet spinning. Tumbled, sitting there, barely open. So we're gonna pull that bullet. And it definitely started opening that would be a extreme minimum velocity on these at 1119 feet per second and I am gonna go ahead and I got one loaded up just a touch hotter I'm go ahead and Try to hit just a little bit lower yet in that block. Well, it came out of the side of the block here, hit my table. Who knows where that flew off to? That one definitely opened up more, giving uh, some better permanent wound cavity there. And that one was 1,319 feet per second. So keeping them over 1,200, they're definitely going to work. Go ahead and get some measurements on this before I flip my blocks. So you got that 
last one at just over 1300 feet per second starting to open up around that two and an eighth inch mark leaving decent permanent wound cavity from the I'm gonna call it two and three eighths all the way to eleven and a half before that permanent wound tapers down and you having it exiting the gel block at twenty and three quarter inches that one going barely over 1100 feet per second started opening up about an inch and an eighth carrying its decent portion of that permanent wound cavity from inch and three quarter to 12 and three eighths it tumbled almost exactly on 20 inches and then it rested at 26 inches. There is a possibility that even lower one opened up a little bit because of the way the tears are in there, but was definitely, you know, under a thousand feet per second is definitely too slow, but you got that permanent wound cavity carrying almost all the way through both blocks. It looks like it was starting at three and seven eighths on that very top one we're running about a half inch permanent move cavity the largest portion on that next one down is going to be roughly an inch and three eighths and then this last guy is a good inch and seven eighths. So let's flip these guys. Do a little bit higher velocity load. going 2,424 feet per second we got that starting to open up at the three quarter of an inch mark that really good portion of that permanent wound cavity on that one Make sure I'm just looking at the correct one here I can see it better from this side and it carries Go ahead and move the camera around here so you can see it too And it's carrying too, about that 17 inch mark, maybe a little past. And the bullet started veering up with its leading edge at 25 and an eighth. That good portion of that permanent wound cavity running from that one inch mark to that 17 inch mark. I'm sure I said that already, but it's all good. We're running at three and a half there three and three quarter there so overall pretty darn good performing bullet you 
really can't complain with the performance of those bullets out of a Grendel. That's going to drop uh, anything you should be hunting with a Grendel pretty well anyways. They work great in the Creedmoor. I think these would be a phenomenal option in something like a 6.5 PRC. I've been shooting a Creedmoor since 2010 before they really gained in popularity. Uh, absolutely love them. The only issue I'd ever had was over fragmentation and under penetration on close range shots, um, which is one of the reasons I never even considered the 6.5 PRC because why would I want to amplify the problems I'm having? Well, here's a bullet where if you watch my other video, we know we can hit the gel um, pretty fast, still do good. I don't think you could move these bullets too fast and yet they still operate clear down under 1200 feet per second so an excellent option for like the 6.5 Grendel uh, 6.5 Creedmoor the 6.5 Swede 264 Win Mag you know you name it this is a phenomenal performing bullet that can handle the low end and lower velocities like a 6.5 Grendel if you have a kid that is new to hunting you don't want to scare them off by hurting their shoulder this is going to drop game well out to a couple hundred yards then you could literally use the same bullets and load them up in something like a PRC and reach out there several hundred yards and still drop game just fine overall I gotta say that's one of the most